Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Olama just announced that you can use the Anthropic API compatibility with Cloud Code and also the Olama free models you can use inside Cloud Code. Okay, and here you see that I have just tried this and uh, I am running this GLM 4.7 model through Olama inside Cloud Code, and this is completely free. I am using this model. You don't have to pay any money, anything. Okay, you don't have to pay anything and uh, whatever the models that are available inside Olama, you can use all of them for free. And those who don't know that uh, this GLM 4.7 and this Minimax 2.1, these are the popular open source model. These are hosted on cloud. Here you see that GLM 4.7 colon cloud. So that means you don't have to download this full model GLM 4.7. In your local you can just run this command olama run uh, glm 4.7 colon cloud then what will be happen let me show you so just open this command prompt or cmd and run this and here you see that connecting glm 4.7 on olama.com so that means olama have itself their own inference setup and they are uh, they are serving this model GLM 4.7. So you are running on the Olama infrastructure as a cloud, okay, cloud service. So uh, this is completely free. And uh, not only that, uh, if I show you this Minimax also, Minimax M2.1, okay. And here you see that they have mentioned that you can run this model through cloud. So if I just run this, then it will run through Olama infrastructure. That means as a cloud, you can use this. Okay. Now let me show you the full setup that how you can uh, actually run this um, Anthropic API compatibility models inside cloud code through Olama. So for that first, you make sure that you have the Olama in your system. I have given this download link in description. Go there. According to your operating system, just download this Olama. Okay, now I have this windows in my operating system and uh, so I am you I will go to this windows uh, all of that comment. Okay, now uh, to use this cloud models, uh, you need to sign in through uh, this Olama. So for that they have one comment which is the Olama sign in whenever you will paste this Olama sign in in your uh, CMD or this terminal. Okay. So let me just close it and if I just copy this Olama sign in and after that open this uh, comment prompt and just paste it Olama sign in uh, it will show me that you are already signed in because um, I have already did that. Now for the first time if you in just press enter then it will provide you one link. So just copy that link and open that in in your one of the browser like in your chrome and after that um, it will ask you for the permission and when it will uh, you will give that permission to connect then you will see this message that device connected successfully now when your device will be connected to the olama uh, cloud infrastructure then you will be able to use this all of the cloud models that is available so you can use this minimax you can use the glm 4.7 that are hosted on the cloud Remember these things that if you want to use the cloud model, then you must sign in through the olama.com. Okay, through this comment, uh, this is the comment olama sign in. Okay, now after that, uh, if you want to download all of that models locally in your computer, then you don't have to do this uh, setup olama sign in. It is not required. Olama sign in is only required for the olama cloud models. Okay. Now, um, if you just have downloaded this GPT OSS or Cohen 3 Coder or Dipsy Gar 1, all of that model locally, then just run this Olama run and uh, up to that model and it will be enough. Okay. Now, now you have to set up the uh, base URL for the Anthropic. Now, Anthropic by default uh, point to the, their uh, official website, which is the uh, api.anthropic.com. Now, as we are using this cloud code through the Olama, uh, then we have to change the base URL. We have to change the auth token. 
so this is the two comment that we have to run okay export anthropic auth token equals to olama export anthropic base url and this one so this whole documentation i will give in description just go there and execute all of that now remember one thing that uh, you have installed cloud code in your system and after that just go to this connect olama now these two command are for the mac and linux so if you have the mac and linux system use this export now if you have the windows in case of windows you may face some issue so that's why i will tell you one solution actually i was also facing some issues but after asking some uh, cross question to chat gpt i got the actual answer okay so that's why i tell everyone that if you are facing issue just tell it chat gpt here you see these are the two commands that you have to run in your powershell so these commands uh, that they have mentioned this may not work in case of windows in command prompt in cmd so you write the cmd here and after that this type of black screen appears right so this may not work in cmd in your case in my case it was not uh, working so that's why what i uh, got from the chat gpt that run this in your powershell so just here write this powershell okay and after that it will open and run this i have given this in description so just copy that and here you see that i have pasted it like this okay these are the two commands now after that it got uh, uh, set up successfully or not for that we have to just write this one eco environment anthropic basic base url so this is the comment say here that verify so if you see this kind of output that localhost 11434 so that means it got connected uh, here you see that i have got this kind of output so this this setup is completed now you have to run this command okay so what i have to do here you see that cloud model now from where i got this here you see they were mentioning that cloud model uh, gpt os is 20 billion or cloud hyphen hyphen model glm 4.7 cloud and also they have mentioned that you can use the minimax m2.0 cloud coen3 coder or this uh, gpt os is. so if you are using this local models then you don't have to mention cloud but if you are using cloud models then you have to mention in this way colon cloud okay and as i am using this glm 4.7 so that's why here you see that i have mentioned colon cloud and after that uh, accessing my workspace okay and let me show you uh, it uh, from the from the scratch okay so after you uh, you have done this setup up to this just run this command cloud model and glm 4.7 you want to trust this folder yes and now if i just write hi and here you see that it is hitting this glm 4.7 and also it is using through col uh, olama okay and here you see that i got the output hello how can i help you today okay so in this way you can use the minimax cloud also let me show you that uh, copy this model name minimax cloud okay and just uh, press ctrl c just uh, out from here and guys here you see that it is showing me the total cost 0 0.0038 but it is uh, not uh, for using the anthropic models it is showing it because um, anthropic works in this way whenever you are using plot code then it will show you all of that cost and duration uh, because it, it is their by default feature but here you see that usage by model it is showing here glm 4.7 cloud and where this model is running this model is running on olama infrastructure and also they have written these things that costs may be inaccurate due to usage of unknown models so for cloud code this glm 4.7 cloud is the unknown model so there is no relation between this cost usage and between this model okay they are showing it just based on the duration and uh, the api call okay nothing that much important
now instead of glm i will use this minimax model now press enter and here you see that i want to trust this folder hi press enter and now this time it is using this minimax okay so how can i help you today in this way and control c and you will see that usage by the model minimax 2.1 cloud and this is the cost okay so don't see this cost there is no value uh, for all of this model that we are using through llama okay and uh, for normal model uh, you can use it without dot colon cloud okay there are many models like coen3 coder is there dipsy car one is there okay and also they have suggested that uh, for coding use cases use uh, with cloud code use these models glm 4.7 and minimax 2.1 and i will say that use this uh, glm 4.7 either glm 4.7 or minimax 2.1 okay because these are the two great open source model uh, till now okay okay and after that here you see that if you want to use through uh, endpoint and you can use that like base url this api key is the olama so uh, if you uh, just call it like in this way okay then how you can get the api key so just uh, go to this olama.com and just do the login and after that here you see that um, uh, you, you will get your api key where is that page you will get the page like this in your profile just go to your profile section and here you will get your api key like this way okay so and you can provide that api key it is so easy so for tool calling and like this you can use it okay so all of these are supported messages and multi channel conversation streaming system prompt tool calling extended thinking vision all of these use cases this anthropic compatibility um, models and api are supported now okay so i hope that this detailed video explanation and all of this setup are useful and are helpful for you guys and if you found this video helpful and meaningful don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care